interested in football, huh? Hey, what about golf? All you need is 600 more teeth and you could be the next Tiger Woods. <laughs> huh? Okay, look, basketball. Look, this is the way Shaquille O'Neal does it. He turns left and he comes up. Hang on the rim, baby. Here, you try. You try. Take a shot. Look, Grandpa, just take the ball and then take the shot. It's going to reject it, baby. Not in my house. Hey, hey, house. hey. What are you doing? Oh, I, I was trying to see what sport Junior Junior is going to play. Baby, can't even walk yet. Hey, we got to start early, Jay. Do you know that a 17-year-old girl won Wimbledon? What's so amazing about that? She's been playing 19 years. It's called fetal training. Mm. You have been... <laughs> Junior Junior's already two years behind, baby. Okay, you know what? I know you want to play with your grandson all day, but here, gotta go to work. No, I am the boss, and if I want to stay and play with my grandson, that's what I'm gonna do. What else am I gonna do? Fire me? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Mom, you've got to do something about Katie. Oh! Is she sick or something? No, she's just in there doing her girly thing again and putting on makeup and trying out new hairstyles. As opposed to you, who's in there all that time planning world peace, huh? <laughs> no. I have a job, I have school, I have places to go. I mean, people depend on me to look good. I'm Claire Kyle. She's just getting ready to go play in the dirt. Don't say that about my baby. Look at my baby. She looks so pretty. Thank you, Mommy. She should. It took her a week. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. I don't. I just hate you because you're you. Okay. I am tired of you two fighting over the bathroom. From now on, you're both limited to ten minutes in there. Ten, ten minutes? minutes? But, Dad, I need more time because I'm a beginner. Well, I need more time, too, because... Because you're ugly. Oh, hey. break it up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Ten minutes, and that's it. End of discussion. <laughs> now the mean aunties are gone, huh? Huh? Look at him, Jay. Huh? He <laughs> loves his grandpa. Look at those eyes. He make a goo goo eyes. He does look content. Wait. Who? Oh no, those are doo doo eyes. <laughs> hey, hold him a second. I gotta go get his uh, diaper bag, okay? okay. I wonder where I put the diaper bag. Hey, it always seemed to turn up missing. Hey! Michael! <laughs> Certified letter here for one Michael Kyle, better known as Mike Love. Whoa, Cecily. Whoa. <laughs> Bobby Shaw. What are you doing here? And why are you wearing those tiny shorts with cowboy boots and spurs? Hey, sucker man. This is in memory of the Pony Express. And this uniform that you speak of is the official uniform of the company of which I represent Horsey Express Messengers. <laughs> Down, Cecily. So you say you had something for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I do. I have a certified sealed letter, and it feels like good news. So you think it's good news, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty intuitive about this sort of thing, really. And I got a feeling, a premonition, if you will, that this is gonna be my last week as a messenger. Oh, really? And why is that? Well, because my third eye, and most people only have two. You've probably seen that yourself. My third eye, my sixth sense, and every fiber of my paranormal being is telling me that I, yes, I, am gonna win the lottery. How big is the jackpot? A bunch of thousands and then millions of dollars. And with any luck, nobody's gonna win this week, and next week it's gonna be even bigger. So you bought a lottery ticket hoping you didn't win? Exactly. I, I bought life insurance. I'm hoping I don't fall off of Cecily's and die. I mean, I can't argue with that logic. Sure, I can't. Look, what? I don't need the lottery because I'm gonna inherit all of this when you know who dies. Let me read this one. Dear Mr. Kyle, congratulations on the success of Kyle Trucking, blah, blah, blah. We represent the Board Street Level Express, blah, 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 blah. The board is interested in acquiring Kyle Trucking. 
Yes, I knew it was good. Knew it was good news in the air. I knew it. Me and Cecily's trying to tell you. See, my vibratory senses was all a tingle when I came in. You probably saw me. I couldn't even control Cecily. Yes, you know, I might be a carrier of good news. Something like a leprechaun or an elf or a stork or a dwarf or something like that. I'm telling you, it's magical foot. It's magical foot. It's magical foot. Can you feel it? Come on, Cecily. Here, I ain't gotta take this. Could have said thank you if somebody brought good news and stuff for you. Oh! oh. No, you can't sell the business. I'm emotionally attached to it. It's like it's one of our kids or something. You mean to tell me if someone made an offer like that to buy one of our kids, you wouldn't sell them? Maybe Junior, but yes. not the business. <laughs> Maybe I could start a whole new career. Like what, Michael? I don't know. I can, you know what? I can be a male model <laughs> or a karate teacher. Kia! <laughs> or a male model or a dancer. <laughs> A male, male model. model, yeah. You know, they pay over five hundred dollars hour just to do this. I don't know about that. <laughs> See, I was getting into the pose. Got to turn the head. Not until I turn the head. Five hundred dollars, Jay. Michael, I know what you're really gonna do. You're gonna hang around this house, clocking my every move, driving me crazy. And where'd you get that from? Uh, from Teresa. The same thing happened to Teresa when her husband retired. You know what he did? He gained 200 pounds. He installed a plasma TV in the bathroom along with a snack food vending machine. A snack food vending? That's unsanitary. <laughs> Maybe a beer dispenser. Michael, you know what? No, what? no, 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 no. I don't want you here all the time. Maybe. We won't be here all the time. Check this out. We could go to the movies at 10 o'clock and then make love at 11. Won't we still be in the movies at 11? That's the point. Let Denzel watch us for a change. <laughs> Baby, we could do anything. We'd be free anytime, any place, anywhere. Uh, I don't know, Michael. I don't know. And you know what? I haven't told you the best part, Jay. What's that? The best part is we get the chance to spend all the time we want with little Junior Jr. We could take him to the park. Oh. We could take him to the zoo. Oh. We could take him to baseball games. Oh, that does sound good. Just me good. and you, yes. I guess that could work. Yeah. Oh, oh, he just threw up. Oh. Here, hold, hold on a second. Let me get something to wipe that off. Okay, hurry nasty. up, because look. Yeah, that's, that's nasty. Oh, baby. Now, where did that go? It's paper a lot. Towel? Michael! Good morning, baby. Oh, <clears throat> good morning, Mrs. Baby. How about a little breakfast in bed to start off the best part of our lives? Sounds like a plan. Let's see what we have. We have some juice, a <laughs> mm -hmm. little coffee, a little... <laughs> <laughs> I almost got me. <laughs> I also brought you the phone so that you can call Street Level Express and close that deal. Look, I don't want to look too anxious, okay, to sell. I can't. I got to sit back and tease them a little while. I'm going to dial three numbers. Then hang up. <laughs> no, I just want to sit here, watch a little TV, and let street level marinate mm. on being in business with Kyle Trump. That's right. They're going to marinate. They're going to marinate. <laughs> we got to marinate. <laughs> in financial news this morning, street level express stock fell 93% after revelations of accounting fraud, totaling over $20 billion. 11 of 12 board members have been arrested and jailed. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There's only one board member left. I gotta call him and try to make this deal. The one remaining board member jumped out of a street level express cargo jet shortly before it plunged into the sea. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? I gotta go to work. There'll be other offers, Dad. No, there won't! Oh, I'm sure there will. This is a good business. If Street Level Express wanted it, somebody else is going to want it. I'm just looking at the bright side. Yeah, well, don't! Okay, Dad. I hate to see you this way. Yeah, well, don't! I don't care! I used to be happy right here at Kyle Trucking until I got that offer. And now that I've tasted the sweet nectar of possibility, I feel stuck! Cecilie! Oh, Cecilie! I don't know. Bye, 
Bobby Shaw at your door, Mike Love. As you can see, I got pride in my glide. I got pep in my step. I got fur in my spurs. Just stop by on my route to see how you don't fall down. <laughs> Not so good, Bobby. They went out of business. Oh, man, I hate hearing that. That is awful there. Whoa, Cecily, stay. Stay now, stay. You know, negativity always gets me down, personally. I'm going to tell you that. But I got something that might just work out for you. This week, you can play the Powerball with me, and then that way we can win, because I got the good numbers. <laughs> the view is not good. Oh, I... <laughs> I had to buy these at a children's store. In the small section. You say you got the good numbers? Yes, son of love, the good numbers. I've been playing them for 11 years now. So in all these years, how many times have these numbers won? Huh? Never. Never. So how could they be good numbers if they keep losing? Sorry. Question of me, sucker man. Look, it's the law of averages. The more they look, what the hell? Oh, 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 oh. You need to do something about that boy. That's no run of the mill horse there. Anyway, as I was saying, sucker man and sucker man junior, it's the law of averages, okay? Every time they lose, they are closer to winning. And right now, they've been losing so long that they are this close to winning. Well, I understand that, but I'm not going to throw my money away on your pipe dream. All right, then. Suit yourself. Remember that, though. Remember these two words. It's millions of dollars, Mike Love. Millions. <laughs> I'm gonna give you another chance. You decide to change your mind. I'll be where I always am around this time, having my lunch at the hot dog stand and feeding my beloved steed who nobody should be touching. <laughs> Tell it, hold, Cecily. Watch the door, Cecily. Watch it. And it's been 10 minutes and 17 seconds and counting. Yeah. 18 Mississippi, okay. 19 Mississippi, yeah, okay. 20 Mississippi, give me five. Like, give me five. <laughs> Done with counting with you. Well, it takes me longer than 10 minutes to do my hair. Well, you should have thought about that before you started complaining about Katie and how long she takes. Now open up the door. Whoa, whoa. Look at me. I can't go out with Tony looking like this. <laughs> Sure you can, baby. It'll be a good way to find out if Tony likes you for who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a freak. Yes, no. <laughs> no, Claire. Now look, looks aren't everything, baby. Now someday you'll get old and you'll lose your looks and then what? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> yeah, she did. Look, can I just go back to fixing my hair? Thank you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Look, I don't even want to be in this. If the two of you can figure out your problem by yourselves, please be my guest. Okay, I have a compromise. Let's hear it. Claire can go out wearing half a hat? Forget it. What do you have? What if I let you use my lip gloss for an extra 10 minutes? Fine. Deal. Lovely. Carry on. Just tell him I'm not here. My dad told me to tell you that he's not here. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Hi. Hello, Mike Love. How you doing there, Bobby? Not too good, young love. Well, what's the matter? Well, as it turns out, my intuition failed me as regards to the Powerball. You didn't win. No. I won twice as much as I thought I was going to win, my glove. Twice. Look, look. Not once, but twice as much. Twice. Twice. Won. I won, 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 I won the lotto. 
So let me get this right. You won. I won! Yes! Now we both said it. Man, I am rich. I am rich. Chee, 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 chee. I spell it R-I-C. Because I'm rich. Got it? Well, that's great, Bobby. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Thank you, Mike Love. But uh, go on and tell the truth now. Aren't you just an incy, wincy, tinsy, wincy, yellow polka dot bikini jealous of me? Not at all. Why would I be jealous? Well, I mean, you did have the opportunity to participate in half. That's 50% of my prize winning Powerball ducking, which you declined. Oh, yes. I offered you a ride on my golden chariot. A golden good numbers. And you mocked it. Yes, you did. You mocked it. And you refused my extended glove of peace because of your long-held antipathy for my personage. I have no antipathy for your personage, Bobby. I have nothing but happy thoughts and well wishes for you. Sincerely? Yeah, truly. What are you going to do with that money? Well, I have thought about it. When I was a small child, I must have been no bigger than this right here. When I was a small child, my cousin Esmeralda Rose and I... Esmeralda Rose? Esmeralda Rose and I... Bobby, yep. I, I don't want to hear this. Don't, please don't interrupt me in my life. Though. You do want to hear this. We would play a game. It was called Cars and Trucks, okay? It smelled like the cars. Mm -hmm. Me, I like the trucks. I like the big trucks. I like the small trucks. I like the long trucks. I like the short trucks. I like garbage trucks. I like five trucks. I like trucks with four wheels, eight wheels, 16 wheels. I like hand trucks. I like hippies that keep on trucking. I like everything had to do with trucks. Do you get the gist of my story, my love? Yes, you like trucks. Yes, you are getting it. I like trucks. And what business are you in, Mike Love? The trucking business. The trucking business. And you do want to sell said business, do you not? Well, you want to buy my business? Lock, stock, and both smoking barrels. <laughs> well, you don't know anything about the trucking business, Bobby. What's that to know? I know two simple things. I like trucks. I got bucks. There it is. <laughs> yeah. And if you buy it, you can hire me to run it for you. <laughs> ah, no! Run it where? Into the ground? Wait a minute, what's that sound? You hear that sound? That's a frown, a smile, turn upside down. Now turn around, sit down. Right now. Is there more? Chow chow. Okay. <laughs> you know what, Bobby? Through the years, you and I have never really seen eye to eye. If you sincerely want to buy my business, then I sincerely want to sell it. I sincerely want to buy it, Mike Love. Well, then let's sit down and hash out a deal. Hey, have you had lunch? No. We could have lunch at the hot dog stand. We could have a frankfurter and some bubbly. Franks and bubbly. You know why? Because I own it. I own it. Come on and see what I own. This nice, shiny and everything. I didn't think you'd be here. I thought you'd be at lunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got lunch right here. Right here. Matter of fact, right on time. Just care for any Franks and Bubbly, it's all beef. All beef Franks there. Uh, no thanks. Don't that give you gas? On, on occasion, but ain't nobody in here but me. <laughs> well, I was just dropping off your keys. Hmm. Ah, thanks so much. You know, hey, you know, why you here? I've been thinking about company names. Really? Well, what, do, what do you think about this? Powerball shipping. Sounds strong and gay. <laughs> got a point. I got slogans, though, and the okay. slogan take the gayness out of it. Watch this. <laughs> Powerball shipping. If we lose your package, we ain't shipped. <laughs> Bobby, you know what? This is your company. You make the decisions you want. I'm going home. All right. So long. I always wanted to be you, Mike Love, and now I am. <laughs> I'm about to get a smaller chair with my feet touching the ground. <laughs> you, you can leave that out. I'm really had no family or nothing. Baby, I'm in heaven. I get up whenever I want. 
have a cup of coffee, I stand on the lawn, wave goodbye to the kid, and I come back and play with my grandson. This is paradise. I'm in paradise. You are really happy, aren't you, baby? Oh, I am so happy, baby. And you know what the great thing is? Bobby Shaw hooked Junior up with a job for life. Doing what? Junior! Beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> <Uniform>, baby. <laughs> well, I'm off to work. Hey, you know what, boy? Do you know what I'm looking at right oh! now? Thank you. Now, you go on to work and have an ABC delightful day. I sure will. Tally-ho, ubiquitous son of Cecily. Where'd you get that from? And where'd you get that from, Teresa? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> where'd you get that from? Teresa, the same thing happened to her when her husband retired. He gained 200 pounds, he installed a plasma... Yes, she has it. Yes. <laughs>